Hey, what's going on everyone? Biggie for Serpent X Tech. And of course, today I released the video where I finally got my hands on the Ice River AL0 and Alpheum or Elephium Miner, which gives you around 400 giga hash at a right under 100 watts, let's say 92, 91 watts, depending on which model you get. There is a firmware update from PB Farmer, but I don't think it's public yet. Um, I was able to get my hands on the pre-release uh, thanks to their blessing, PB Farmer, and obviously my colleagues in the space. Thank you. You know who you are. But I would wait and urge caution uh, for, you know, PB Farmer or the dev to release it on their actual GitHub, which I will have linked below. We've seen it before. Uh, you're going to see future videos where I talk, or future or past videos, depending on when you're watching this, where I talk about the various firmwares, you know, T-Swift versus PB Farmer, so on and so forth. Just comparing and contrasting, but we know that a lot of people in the crypto money space like this firmware on their KS0s. So now will that extend to the AL0, the RX0 that come to the channel later on, so on and so forth. It looks like that's the case. We just have to be patient. But is there any point in upgrading right now? This is a pre-release. It's not available publicly yet, but just keep an eye on their GitHub, as I mentioned before, linked in the description. But you can see right now I'm averaging anywhere between 445 giga hash to 430 giga hash. So I'm already getting above the 400 giga hash quoted or provided by Ice River. I already have the side vents off or the panels off and fans, 120 mil fans on it. Had to turn down the fans because I was getting lower hash rate. These things do like to run warm. But the pre-release software, just like you were to update any of these particular models, they're all the same, whether it's the KS0 all the way to the RX0. You log into the IP, you click the firmware upgrade, and you hit select file. And then here is the firmware version. Again, pre-release, not available available publicly. Thank you for your blessing, PB Farmer, and my colleague who got it to me. Um, and then we can just go ahead and update. The reason I would like to update, even though I'm already getting decent hash rate, is I want the stats. I want the metrics. I want the data that the PB Farmer GUI, graphic user interface, provides to me. So that's one reason. I probably wouldn't overclock it, but I probably would like to run it more efficiently uh, as possible, right? Maybe downclocking it a little bit to try to get more efficient clocks. But now we're just going to do firmware upgrade while I got you. Open, update. There will be newer updates in the future, future revisions. Be patient with the dev, right? They got to wait for these miners to get into their hands. There needs to be some development happening some testing, some tuning, some configuration. I think the pre-release version had some updates already, but it's good to see that since the launch of the AL0, we're already getting firmware updates. I believe T-Swift and company is also working on it. So you start to see them rolling out from whoever your favorite dev is. Uh, just again, you know, you need to make sure, one, you modify and add heat sinks to your MOSFET, two, you have a power supply adequate enough for your needs. The, the same thing that applies to the KS0 Pro and Ultra applies to the AL0 and the RX0. You just need to improve your thermal conditions, maybe replace the thermal paste and the thermal pads, uh, better power supply and heat sinks on the MOSFETs, and just don't overdo it. Don't push it too hard, and then you're just killing efficiency just for the sake of hash rate. You know, you want to be as efficient as possible. But now that's done, okay. Restart machine, okay. We're gonna sit, let it reload and bring it back up online. Hopefully we can see the telemetrics uh, data um, and be able to fine tune this thing a little bit more. Uh, as far as upgrading and tearing it down, Greater Good did a really good video on adding the heat sinks and doing all that. I've done videos uh, as well as many of my other colleagues on the improvements that you can make to these little miners and i really love tinkering around with this type of stuff so let me get this going and then let's see what we stabilize at with no clock adjustments whatsoever even though we do have the room to overclock this thing a little bit further than stock and just like we've seen before when we first initialized this device after the firmware update the pb farmer uh, firmware update you will get a security warning you just need to go down to advance and then proceed to, and it says your IP address for the machine, unsafe. I wouldn't recommend this if you were going to a third-party site, an online internet website on the public internet, uh, but it's just connecting to your device here locally on your network. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. The same login as we're familiar with, admin and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
you're going to get a password warning because we don't want to leave that stock password on as i always recommend and then of course outlining the risk knowing that it is up to you he is not liable the dev is not liable the manufacturer is not liable you're pushing these units outside the specified rating just understanding the risk accept and now we get the gui that we love to use to get us data now let's see how this thing stabilizes at stock clock stock configuration and then go over some of the aspects that we have the same thing as before we can go to minor and we can push the overclocks even further we obviously need to set up our pool which i'm gonna do right now but just understanding the risk and the warning here pb farm is not liable ice river is not liable i am not liable for showing you this you're doing this at your own risk that's why we always say make sure you understand the risk before you do anything in crypto whether it's trading or mining depending on the pool uh in this case i'm using hum pool uh you could use you know hero miners which one you, whichever one you like uh you just need to make sure you add it in there so we got the server address the worker in my case i'm using my account information and then i'm going to hit save in the upper right hand corner if i move out of your way you're just going to hit save and now I have an US pool and then the EU pool as a backup. Now I click understand. And here we have the clock offset and the voltage offset. I'm not going to mess with those just yet. Um, fan mode, I'm probably going to set fixed speed. I know a lot of people like target temp, um, but I like fixed speed. Target temp's probably going to be better, but we're going to go ahead and go fixed speed and 60% just for now and leave everything else alone. I'm not going to mess the clock offset voltage. I want to see what it stabilizes at. And now after around 30 minutes, we're stabilizing and we're sitting exactly where we should be. Anywhere between 380 giga hash and 440 giga hash. Exactly where it was with the normal Ice River firmware. The biggest thing for me is being able to see this detailed data where I wasn't able to. The Ice River monitoring software that T-Swift came out with hasn't updated yet, at least at time of recording. So I can't see chip temperatures for each individual chip and the biggest thing for me is the power stage right now is at 65 degrees celsius and i already have again the side panels off and fans on it but the fans are much lower because these things like to run hot so i'm getting better performance by having the fans lower when i add and improve improve the cooling solution then it might drop hash rate so i would need to overclock a little bit now it's just time for me to continue to test and tune right power meter to keep an eye on because i'm using the stock power supply of 120 watts the hunt key one you know pushing it to a comfortable efficient level on that power supply i can upgrade to a 230 watt or a 330 watt as you will see on the channel or might see in a future video depending on again when you're watching this but in summary be patient with the devs they're coming out with updates. There's firmware updates that are probably going to come out for the RX-0 in the future too. Um, a lot of your favorite content creators and even some of the new guys are providing you content on overclocking your AL-0. I would just urge caution because if you're pushing it and you're trying to get the highest hash rate, sacrificing efficiency, you're just going to be spending more on your electric bill, which in the current market conditions is not really sensible. So try to shoot for what's efficient for your electrical costs, your thermal situation, and your environmental situation. My overclocks won't be applicable or applicable to you if you're in a different area. And just like somebody in Canada might get better performance with the same overclocks than somebody here in the tropics of Florida. But I just want to share this with you. Let me know what your thoughts are. I really love PV Farmer. I love the detail that we get, the uh, graph designs, uh, how I can see every individual chip um on this particular one it's just good it's just good the hottest chip right now is sitting at you know 55 degrees celsius again not modded in any way and where I, whereas on my ks0 the hottest chip is at 58 but i'm you know almost 60 percent over the stock hash rate so love this stuff uh there is a higher dev fee of one percent so do what is best for you but Either way, I'm out of here. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hit that like button on the way out. Make sure you get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. I'm going to go on to add the power meter so I can make sure I keep an eye on things in the room it's been moved to. Tear it down. Replace thermal pad, thermal paste. Add MOSFET heat sinks with the thermal glue or epoxy. 
and I will catch you in the next one. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. Thank you.